Herrera from the United Nations World Tourism Organization 2014 defined food tourism as tourists who plan the trip or holiday solely on the objective of savoring the local taste of the destination, or simply conduct activities associated to food. This is evident in Morocco as its Mediterranean diet alongside Spain, Italy and Greece was number one in the 2010 UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. This has made more tourists aware of the food culture in Morocco, thus creating a market for food tourism. As mentioned by Arela from the UNWTO, food tourism experience is commonly evaluated by tourists through a series of attributes, mainly attractiveness of the food and environment and quality of service. However, Cohen and Avieli stated that as food could be considered as an attraction, there are underlying concerns faced by tourists when it comes to an unfamiliar destination, such as hygiene standards, health considerations, communication gaps, and the limited knowledge pertaining to the local cuisine. While we were at JIT, an interview was conducted with an Australian tourist who resides in Wales. He said that he would not revisit a country just for its food. Further researchers provided reasons relating to his statement. First, the lack of variety. As the income level of a person increases, they tend to vary the choice of food. As experienced on the trip, food that were mainly eaten were tagines, breads and salad. Tourists who seek to challenge their palates may not be keen with the limited choices. Also, food neophobia may be another reason for his statement, as certain groups of tourists do not like to try unfamiliar food which could be linked to the underlying concerns mentioned by Cohen and Avili. And seeking familiar food products such as McDonald's, KFC, and Pizza Hut. What is globalization? According to Jerry and Jerry, globalization is a multiplicative process in which the world is becoming more and more interconnected and communication is becoming instantaneous. Robertson defined globalization as the compassion of the world and the intensification of consciousness of the world as a whole. Morocco is now progressing internally to a greater globalization. During the trip in Marrakech, we could easily find out different international chain restaurants and hotels like McDonald's, KFC and Four Seasons. In some of the snack shops in tourist destinations, more of their products they showed were the famous international brand like Coca-Cola, Pringles and Doritos. It's difficult to find some local traditional snack. According to one of the shop owners, most of the tourists from Western countries favor this kind of well-known and familiar brand products, and it can help them to increase their profits. However, globalization led to the loss of identity and local values in Morocco cuisine. Then, unfortunately, it's dying out. You know, uh, it's attacked by uh, uh, by the uh, uh, by the outsiders or by the uh, European maybe. Uh, KFC? Uh, yeah, oh. well, not uh, necessarily KFC, but uh, mostly, you, yeah, Italian pizza, uh, yeah. pasta. Pasta, yeah, yeah, we had something. So, uh, I remember when I was a kid, uh, we used to make uh, some very typical um, high Atlas Mountain, you know, uh, dishes, which I don't see anymore uh, when I go back. One of the many areas of concern that globalization impinges on is cultural diversity. Under globalization, Morocco cuisine may become commodities and incorporate into a larger mass of things. Therefore, the local cuisine will lose its identity and local values. What is globalization? Globalization is a concept which combines globalization and localization to emphasize that a global product will succeed when it's adapted specifically to meet the needs of the region politically, socially, and culturally. Especially for international fast food restaurants, globalization is an important concept since the success will be determined by the trust that it's able to gain from the residents of a region. How is globalization of large food corporations in Morocco? According to the research, Pizza Hut in Marrakesh, regular menus look basically similar except the fact that they don't have menus contain pork because of religious adoption. A pizza, cheesy pops and nuggets I tried there also tasted the same as the ones I had before. On the other hand, in other African countries like Kenya, as localizations, they offer pizza with Indian sauce based on the observations of Indian flavors variety in Kenya and which are sold very well. So why Pizza Hut in Morocco do not localize their product? Firstly, maintaining restaurants' own brand identity is looked at as an important factor rather than adopting local preferences because originally, traditional Moroccan meal like tagine is generally slowly cooked and as especially in city area like Marrakesh, the lifestyle has been changing to fast-paced. People tend to seek more those fast food restaurants to consume food easily and quickly. 
Secondly, original taste has been so far accepted by locals already, and they desire something new which comes from Western countries, and they even long for those Western food cultures. However, localization could be a new opportunity for fast food restaurants in Morocco. For example, offering Moroccan traditional mint tea might be a way to attract not only locals but also tourists since it's found that there are a certain number of tourists who do not try local foods but choose familiar products or restaurants during trip in a new region because of factors such as reliability, safety, convenience and language barrier. Therefore, localization for tourists could be another target for the future growth for Moroccan international food corporations. The food experience begin on the first meal on the flight to Marrakesh. The box meal which contains two types of sandwiches, cheddar cheese with honey mustard mayonnaise in a brioche roll and a falafel with beetroot flatbread, the blend of western and local. The first traditional tagine we had on the first night was an authentic experience which was served on a traditional container, tagine. The role of food in different countries resembles the countries themselves. In Morocco, food was played a major role in completing the travel experience. In a lot of countries, food is becoming a pleasurable and a physical, significant and ritualistic to enrich the experience. While having the first move before we came on the desert, we were experiencing on how the borough would have their lunch outdoor. The two operators strive to provide us with the authentic eating experience and show how active they are. The concept of globalization could interfere with the context of local action, but not demolish them. In contrary, the different forms of self-expression and local cultural identity could link up with globalizing processes, allowing the intergrowth with food tourism. The food culture is an important part of the overall cultural product of an area, which falls into why different areas have a distinctive food culture. This footage was taken on the other side of the market, and as we could see, the car was parked in a way that could unload the harvest of the day, which fully demonstrates the willingness from the citizen to be involved in order to go against the globalization. It could only be done while the whole country is working together. In the journey of understanding Moroccan food development, we conducted some informal interviews with local people. Couscous in the house. Uh, tagine with chicken, tagine with uh, beef, uh, with uh, goat. A lot of things which can be seen in Moroccan cuisine now, they are originally from uh, France. Uh, talking about breads, different type of uh, breads. We were shown how the nomads bake bread in the middle of Sahara. It is eaten every day. In Moroccan dishes, we may trace the country's long history of immigrants and colonizers. Many tourists have changed from the classic must-see to a must-experience imperative to consume intangible experience of culture. In the case of Morocco, food provides the raw materials for narratives about the country and its identity. Food, by connecting tourists to local culture and heritage, is becoming one of the most noticeable examples of the tourism experience. The links between food and tourism also provide a platform for local economic development, which can be strengthened by the use of food experience for branding and marketing. Marketing destinations. As people come to accept that nutritious food is the foundation of a wellness lifestyle, with that in mind, travelers are increasingly seeking new ways to eat while on vacation and take wellness into consideration as a global trend. The Moroccan eating culture involves living in a society that supports social interactions, sharing meals, slow cooked food, and respect for the earth. Particularly in the areas of development, marketing and branding, one challenge is dealing with the shift towards intangible culture and make it a more unique experience when taking food tourism into consideration. However, like many developing countries, the Moroccan diet is changing. Alongside the external factors such as the Western eyes, we mean them becoming more independent and people now travel further to work and families are more fragmented. Therefore, Moroccan food is likely to change and to be a gentle revolution.